Hey, I'm Susanna and I am a second year law student at Bristol and yeah, I have been single my whole life. So yeah, I think I've personally come across some difficulties and challenges being a single Christian, um, especially I think growing up it was kind of the narrative was like marriage is what is going to complete you as a Christian, that it's the goal of my life, it's where I'm heading and that is ultimate satisfaction and fulfilment. Um, and even feeling like I can't really serve God without being married and that would complete me fully. Um, I think coming to uni as well, being in this hookup culture around me, but also in church, um, feeling this pressure to be married, be engaged by 21 and kind of have this long term um, relationship with someone. Um, yeah, it definitely put the pressure on and kind of made me question whether I was okay, whether there was something wrong with me, whether I was messing the mark a bit. Um, so yeah, it's been ups and downs with that. Yeah, yeah, I think when I started to delve into scripture of, okay, what does the Bible have to say about this? And, and seeing how sort of promoted singleness was and how celebrated it was and reading all the advantages of like, especially in serving God, being single, um, I think it gave me so much more peace that it's okay, that it's totally, and it's not just singleness is okay, but it's actually great and it's something that um, has its own kind of um, privileges as like marriage does and as um, relationship does. And I think that released me to really not just put up with singleness, but really try and embrace it um, as much as I can, even in this sort of, yeah, marriage obsessed culture we have. So yeah, I think um, looking at Metro and, and realizing that we're about 90% single people at church, um, I think one of the things we can do is really open up conversation like this um, about singleness. And I think for me, I felt like it's only in relationship that I can be cared for, that I can be seen, that I can be loved. But actually realizing that so much of what I thought I could only get from marriage, I can get with my Christian friends and really feeling fulfilled and seen and loved in those friendships. And I think we being really open, I think there's definitely some days where being in a relationship is all that I want with every fiber of my being. It's just the one thing I feel I need. And actually being in a church where I can say that and it's not looked down upon and it's not taboo and it's not wrong. Um, having people around you to sort of ride the wave and really express all those feelings. Um, I think being in a church culture where we celebrate the highs and the lows and we're not pretending that we all have it down in this. Yeah, so I think if I had one thing that I wanted to say to all the single people at church, um, I think I'd definitely say like you are complete in Christ, um, that you don't need a marriage to make you whole and fulfill you, that there is so much purpose, whether this is forever or whether this is a season, that God is good, that Jesus really wants to know all that you're feeling um, and that, yeah, that it's okay to not have it figured out and for this to be a journey. Um, and yeah, just to know that, that you are complete as yourself.